Hey, people. Hey, what it do? Uh, two minute I'm Mike, episode 57. What it do? We're going to do it. Yeah, what it do, baby, bro. What yeah. it do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this episode's player will be none other than K-Rod, mm. Francisco Rodriguez. What are they all glad to call him F-Rod because it sounds F-Rod. like a porn name? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that. That could be well, like, yeah, yeah. like porn name. You trying to touch F-Rod. my F-Rod today? <laughs> So it's K-Rod, even though his name was Francisco. There's no K in his name. Strikeout dog. Yeah, I know. But like... I'm saying, I, I don't know. A-Rod was... He's a strikeout he, master. A-Rod was because his last his name was Alex Rodriguez. He could have had K's all the time. He struck out too. Oh, you know, so. His name was going to be S-Rod. S-Rod. For steroids. Steroids. Bang, bang. Well, he's winning because he's dating J-Rod. <laughs> J-Lo, I mean. S-Rod. <laughs> S-Rod. But yeah, man, so uh, let's dig into it. And she doesn't that's age, some... by the way. No, she's like almost 50 and she looks crazy. Good for her. Looks ridiculous. J-Lo. Jenny from the block. <laughs> <laughs> Come from my block. <laughs> Anytime. So let's do what we do best and entertain some people. All right. Well, to entertain. Breaking you... news! No, sorry. No, no, no. no Bryce Harper didn't There's know no breaking news. Yeah, sorry. We don't know. He might have something. Yeah. But no one really knows. Um, locked up, man. Locked up. Won't oh, let me. So you can't get it this time because we're singing it. Nah, take that, you do. Mm. Oh, now I know you're talking about the whole locked up because uh, I got nothing. Yeah. See? Cool. See this? I'm even too. Sometimes I'm too smart for even wrong. I'm just like, what? I'm talking about Acon for. All right. Well, talking about J Small. We're talking about comic music. Okay. And there's some comic music going around right now. Um, our guy Jussie. That's, that's, that's your man. Not Jesse. Blue man's ass. That's, that's, that's yours. That's your man, that's brother. Yours. Um, any part of my empire. Not, not even a little bit. He wants to be on your empire. <laughs> he got out of our empire. He wants to be on your empire, you brother. Stupid ass. All right, so. What did he do? Let's get Jesse, man. All right, so, so Jesse Smollett. Uh, he's, a, he's a lead character in the show that I did not, not I've know was still on. I've uh, never seen empire. that episode. Empire was one of them, I thought that was one of them shows that, like, the first year or so, it was the hottest thing on earth. Like, mm-hmm. everybody wanted to watch it. But it's still on, and nobody mm-hmm. knows about it. Like, I guess now they have, like, their core fans, but it's like, the other ones have kind of, like, faded off. Like, all right, I've had enough. So, this dude was one of the biggest stars on there, outside of uh, Terrence Howard and uh, Taji. Taji P. Isn't that Cookie? Cookie. Okay, the one time Cookie. I actually Cookie. watched that show, for, like, two seconds, and Cookie was like, you ain't getting none of Cookie's Nookie, and I was out, I was out. Either, either, either she said cookies nookie on my turn. I was like, I can't do this. That just means you won't get any of cookies. Well, I can't. It's so nookie. bad. Like, mm-hmm. All right, man. That's anyway, so your fucking... Jesse Smollett. Is it Smollett or Smollett? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Smollett is Smollett. a small wallet. Gotcha. So he might be a small wallet. Um, so my man staged a hate crime. Definitely did. He had the whole country thinking, oh, man, it's bad. Yeah, like, like... I feel so bad for him. Like, come on, man. And I thought, oh, God, Trump did it again. You know, because... So like, yeah, Trump was like, yeah. This one I can't take credit for. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like your first move, because I feel like if it was, Trump would have already, like, defended it. You know, he was like, I got you. Like, because they, they, they came out with all... It just... It was wild. Like, it, it caught me on guard a little bit, like... I didn't know who had a noose at 3 o'clock in the morning. Right. It just seems kind of like, weird. Like you were just randomly looking the streets and hoping to find a gay black man. So he got street noosed. Yeah. Like street noosed. I don't understand how... Like, On his way to Subway. <laughs> yeah. Subway, eat fresh. Do they open that late? Maybe you need to say I don't... Maybe that's a New York Subway. I don't like Subway. Not Delco, they I think Subway's gross. I can do it every now and then. I don't like crave it. It's like... Because it's so expensive. What and do like, they make that, that's any more special than anyone else? I mean, all right. So I had like quick subway thing. Yeah. I got the uh, the new meatball like on um, garlic bread, okay. bro. It's on a garlic bread, bro. He put mm. so much garlic stuff on it. Yeah, it was so greasy. Just it was dripping. just eating gre- It was dripping. Like my, I watched my man spread like the the like garlic, garlic butter, sp- right? Yeah. He he had like a whole. It was like, bro. <laughs> was like, bro. I'm like my man. Like I don't need all that. And he's like. You, you know, it's like, you know, you can, you can pick your sauces or whatever. Right. He's like, don't get any sauces because it doesn't mix well. I know because you put well, obviously 18 you. <laughs> pounds of garlic butter grease on my bread. And like, I had to like take the thing apart, eat the meatballs. It was so greasy. Did you grease? Like, did you like ring out You could have had almond. You could have had garlic grease bread. Garlic, garlic, garlic milk. milk? 
Oh, like, it was good, but it was just so much grief that literally soaked through it. I was like, I thought my stomach was gonna hurt. God, it didn't, thank God. But That's you know when you eat something and you know you're gonna, your stomach's gonna hurt. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this. We like sweat. I'm waiting for this diarrhea. Like sweating garlic. Yeah, for like like three I'm days. waiting for this diarrhea. But the diarrhea would have had a garlic smell. So yeah, that was my last subway uh, excursion, and I'm good. Yeah, I, I think mine is always the price. Like it's overrated, but for it's a good. sandwich. I'm not spending seven dollars or a five dollar foot long. Now it's like six dollars foot long. It's not. It was first of all, it was five bucks for like a week, and it's like now it's like six fifty, and it's always like. Man, Some kind of deal, and it's like, nah. It's, you can't call it the 650 foot long. It does, that's yeah, not a good song. Like, 650 foot long. <laughs> <laughs> like, uneven numbers, bro. So, yeah, so your boy got so, streak, tried to get streak news. So, he got he was and he had some street slurs. During, uh, during his subway run. And uh, he said it was, quote, he said it was uh, two white people, and they were screaming. Nope, they clearly weren't. And they were screaming, this is MAGA country, and then he used some slurs. And and then they, they ran off into the night. Um, look, man, if you're going to stage this kind of a thing, wouldn't your bright move be like at least hire two white guys? Like mm-hmm. just hire two white fellas. For for the for for the price you paid, there's gonna be two white guys out there who will beat you up. But they <laughs> they he paid them thirty five hundred bucks a piece. Yeah. For thirty five hundred, I'm not mean, I'll kick you if you need it. Like that's a nice little price. Like it is what it is, but like I don't know if that's worth my risk at thirty five hundred. I think you gotta bump your number up. You're on Empire, like yeah, at least ten G's. Like, bro, make it make it count. And rule number two. I don't know if this guy's never watched any any like murder shows or any of this, but he paid them a personal check. Mm. Bro, it's attached to your bank account. Oh, <laughs> rule one I didn't know that. Use cash. Use cash. No paper trail. No, no paper trail. They can't be like from Jesse Smollett for beat down. <laughs> yeah, when you write on that check, yes, <laughs> please beat me up. So then he picks two Nigerian people, yeah, and two Nigerians who are on his show, yes, they're on Empire. Mm-hmm. Right, so now you have really you're connected because these guys are on the show you're on. They're not white, like you did. You did a lot there. It was just like poor planning, poor planning. Like if you're gonna plan, you gotta plan correctly, right. So he wound up, first of all, I, he, he sent a uh, letter to the news or something like that in like the old crazy like Joker words, like he cut out the letters and put them uh, in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. saying something about like threatening Jesse Smollett. Um, that did not work. Uh, and then he decided to do all that. He got the paid two brothers, 3500 via personal check. Uh, apparently, so far, what it sounds like is he was dissatisfied with his salary on Empire. So I guess he figured like if he became... You know, like this, uh, like you know, this, this, like an activist for you know all of this. Maybe somehow Empire would get more views because everybody wants to watch him now, and like he would. He has music out also. He has, he has music like out on iTunes and stuff. So I'm thinking like, so I guess he feels like it's gonna bump his overall if he like becomes a victim, and it did not work that way. Uh, so now he has a real uphill battle to try to explain why. <laughs> yeah. He did some crazy stuff. Like they so they like have a video of the two brothers buying the ski mask and everything they needed. Um, so not a great move. Um, so Jesse he is apparently pulled from the last two episodes of Empire for this season, which probably be pulled. Makes sense. Nice. And that show dropped the mic where mm-hmm. where people who can't rap are going mm-hmm. to freestyle on each other. Uh, he's been cut out of that. Did you know Method Man host that show? Yeah. Man, where the hell did Meth go, man? Method went from rapping to... He just does everything mainstream now. He's, he has to be one of the... Smart move on his part, though. But he left Red Man behind. <laughs> he left Reggie no <laughs> Where's Red at? <laughs> Damn, Reggie. I was like, yeah. I get it. He like, wanted to do things, but... Speaking of, did you know they're doing a Hell High 2? With like two late. new age rappers? It's no, late. it's not with them. Oh, it's still too late. It's <laughs> like with like Soldier Boy or something. Like that. That's really out now. It's bad. Or like Sway Lee. Or like, it's, it's one of the young kids. Like The whole thing's going to be an auto-tune. <laughs> like, it's not gonna be the best how high ever. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Jesse. Um, but we talked about this. Um, somebody's getting locked up left and right this week. Mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Mayonnaise. Ew. Arts and crafts. Yeah. <laughs> One hour of yard time. <laughs> Twenty three wow. seven. If that feels I don't know if that's a terribly awful idea though. Imagine just chilling for twenty three hours. Well, you think it's a good idea or at all? I, think, I mean, I get the the surrounding purposes. Yeah, you know what? 
you know, just just like, out. yo, here's your own little place. It's going to be nice and quiet. <laughs> what? <laughs> just one hour a day, you got to talk to people. I don't, that's why people call it three hots in a cot. Yeah. Because some people are like, yo, this is way better. I don't have to worry about a bill. I don't have to worry about phone bill. No girl's ever going to be bitching about my text messages. You didn't answer me. I'm in a cell. I get one phone call a day. I call them up. <laughs> you know, like, there's some stress that can be relieved off your plate. I mean, granted, some dude's going to try to take advantage, but mm. hey, mm. it's the stylings of prison. Um, so, someone finally looked into this after 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so, our boy Robert Kelly, he finally got caught with 10 counts of criminal sexual abuse. And at least three of them were with underage women. Shocker. New videos. My man, stop video. Yo, what is that, the library? Jeez, he finally does, like, oh, what September 2002. Ah, fine one. They said he used to like to watch his work. Like, that was his thing, because he's such a creep bag. Bro. Like, come on, man. Were all mm. your, your stuff trapped in a closet? Was it all trapped in there? Like, Jesus. you got away with the one where you're physically on video. But yeah. you know now, like, cameras have gotten better, right? So, like, they're going to see every dimple on your face. You can't even try to claim that to be your brother this time. Like, that's kind of screwed up. But, like, first of all, I was, I was messed up in the documentary. Like, you were cool this time. Like, I don't know, my brother was all in the kids. Not me. His brother was, like, defending them, too. He's like, yeah, that's like, how we are. That's like, how no, we are. Bro, no, it's no. not how we are. That's, that's like, false. We like, I like older girls. He like younger girls. No, no, you can like older girls and younger girls. But they have to be in a legal range. Like, you can be 30 and, like, a 22-year-old. Yeah. But you can't be 30 and, like, a 15-year-old. That's just... That's... No. No. There's, that's, there's zero... There's actually zero ways to make that a good thing. But you know how his brother was in prison telling that? It's yeah, like, like... I don't think you're the most credible person to be no, talking. Like, no. I see, your, I see your inmate number right there. It's like... It's a pretty nice suit you got there. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you should really be asking. I don't know. Who, 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 who that, would never do who that? Who did I do was to interview that guy? Yeah. Well, Let's go to the, and the younger brother just looks like, I don't know. My one brother's in jail. The other one likes kids. I'm just here. Mm. The other Kelly brother. Like, so Robert finally got caught. Thank goodness for this. Um, so he got 10 counts. Uh, so they have at least four victims, and obviously the victims do not want to be named. So they're there by, um, they, they use like their initials. So we have RL, LC, I think Harry Potter's one of them, HP or something like that. No, JP, my fault. Like JP Crawford. I was saying that computers. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bippity boppity boopin'. Um, so yeah, he's charged with 10 counts um, and apparently aggravated criminal sexual abuse is, called, is based on the transmission of semen. Do not laugh at the word semen. I do not, don't do it. Don't. Don't have it. <laughs> don't have it. Um, it's the transmission of semen from R. Kelly upon any part of the body of the victim for purposes of sexual gratification. Wait, he had semen in his transmission? Oh, yeah. In the key to ignition? Pop in the fresh out the kitchen. In his ignition? Hello, now you know what the song means. Now I got it. Jesus, it's the remix to semen popping fresh mm. out of his transmission. Mm. So, yeah, Robert's out of there. Um, oh, he's, he's arrested, and I feel like this time, not to be gross. If he gets out of this one, come on, man. Not to be gross, but I think these uh, charges will stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Robert's out of there. Um, now, the next, the next and final one to get caught makes me especially happy. The other Robert. Another Robert. This one's a little Kraft Macaroni. Kraft Macaroni. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, does he own Kraft Macaroni? Yes. Oh, I can't eat That's that. That's why he's a billionaire. I can't eat that. Robert Kraft. I didn't have that was same thing. You know, D Ford is a player, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't own Ford Motors. <laughs> That's just an illegitimate great, great, great nephew. <laughs> they don't discuss, uh, but uh, yeah. What are you going to talk about? So, yeah, Robert Kraft Macaroni and mm -hmm. Cheese um, decided he wants to start soliciting prostitutes at 77 years old. Um, but apparently the creepier part of him just get like getting some prostitutes, do you brother? Uh, I, like I would never, that is, I wouldn't do it, but I mean, yeah, I do it, you gotta do it. But like, you're super rich. Yeah. Can you just ask girls to come to your house? Oh, you know he has a girlfriend, he's like 39. He's yeah, a smoke she's, she's a smoke show. I, I, I'm confused by that. I don't get so it. So confused. Bro, I get it. 
Like he was, did you see he was wearing uh, a chain at the All Star game? He was wearing a chain to championships from Meek Mill. Like it was an actual like diamond. That's a really chain. weird friendship. I don't understand. Because he wants to be a child now. He wants to be young at mm-hmm. seventy seven. He's rocking Air Force. What balls. do you have in common with Meek Mill? Nothing. Nothing yet, man. He's trying. Okay, now he has. Now he's trying to be a criminal. So that's good. He's trying to like. He's trying to get his rep. That was funny. He went to go visit Meek. And now he's going to go visit Meek. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I guess I gotta go yeah. and get you. Um. So yeah. So Robert Kraft is one of two hundred. People, 200? 200 people that they, they busted down on this, uh, on this sookie sookie, um, Asian spa. Now, the whole happy ending thing, but apparently these people were held against their will. These women were held against their will, not allowed to eat and stuff like that, unless they were told they were, like, locked in cages kind of thing. So, I don't know why you'd want to have sex with them. They seem like they're going to be real energetic. Um, Jesus, gross. But, like, I feel like if you're a Robert Kraft, if you're that rich, just bring someone to your home. No one's going to question girls walking into your house. Why are they going to question girls walking into a mansion? No one. No one's going to question that. They literally pull up to your door, walk in. You don't have to worry about surveillance cams in Florida in a weird spa in a strip mall. Yeah, that's really weird. I'm waiting to hear Tom Brady's name. Yeah. What would you do? What do you think Giselle would do if Brady's over here at an Asian sex spa? She's like, no, Tom, no. She would have lit him up. He was done. She makes all the money. Tom mm-hmm. makes baby money compared to Giselle. Giselle would have lit his ass up. But that's another black eye for the Patriots. Like, they're cheaters, and now he's a cheater. And a sex actor at 92 years old. So, Robert Kraft got locked. Well, he's, they said he's charged. He'll obviously get away with it. Yeah, of course. Money. He's a Godzillionaire. Somebody, he didn't do it. They did to him. Like, they'll, they'll say some dumb shit and they'll get mm-hmm. out of it. Um, but that makes me happy. Nothing makes me happier than seeing Robert Kraft uh, go down on Blaze of Glory for anything. Um, so yeah, that's the locked up segment. Is seems like all the all of the uh, celebs are getting getting taken down. And maybe they'll be in the Breaking Bad movie. Um, beer goggles. It's a weird one today. You know, it's weird. It's a hazy. I haven't done hazies in a while. But it's from LIC. The Cannons, the Cannons. Called Cannons. <laughs> yeah, remember that was on every rap track? Every. Cannon, Cannon. And you knew it was going to be dope. Like, mm. Usually Wayne had like 17 of them to start with Cannon, right? Yeah. Like, cannons. And, you're like, oh. and they did it like 80 times during the song. It wasn't just like in that part. It wasn't the worst thing. Uh, was it? Uh, what was the other DJ? Uh, Not the one we heard in the Sam, way. No, it was DJ... Desert, no, it's the Desert Storm one. Was it DJ Clue? Yeah, DJ Clue. Desert Storm! Like, yeah, and I'm like, they're screaming over the yeah. track. I'm trying to listen to the track. I don't want to hear you screaming over it. I never understood that. Like, you're trying to hear the track, and you're like, you're Desert Storm! And then, like, Tanner, like, yeah! Well, shut up, man. Like, leave us alone. No shit, no shit, no shit. Yeah. We can't hear the new shit, because you're screaming new shit. I remember on, like, Napster and shit, like, back when you were downloading it, you would try to find the version that didn't have them mm-hmm. literally screaming all over the track. Because, like, I don't understand how I can hear it if every five seconds, like, no shit, he about to go in. And you're like, what is he going into? You? you fucking, you're screaming. Like, get out of here. And then Callan, you know, he took over. Just, oh. Let you know there's another one. And, and like, you, and he has, like, he's like a pop culture icon, though, mm-hmm. which is so weird. Um, but going back to the cannons, uh, it is LIC. I don't think they're called Lick. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to spread that. Um, so LIC, they're out of Queens, New York. Um, can is crazy. It's like a basically a graffiti can. Yeah. Like I didn't know where to place it because the whole can is like just it just keeps going. So I tried to do that one. So it's part of the uh, LIC beer project. Look. <laughs> the lick project. I don't know, man. It's part of the lick project. Um, it's a hazy. It was delicious. 8.5. Um, there's more. This this is... Some hazies are very acidy. And like... They really mess with you. But these this one was really, really smooth. Um, I've been holding on to this one because they caught me with the can. You know, like... Sometimes a can just makes you buy it because it's so cool looking. It was this one. But the beer was as good as the can. So get you some lick. As Ron would say. Get you some lick... Bang, margin and chalk. Licking cans and cannons. Licking cans and cannons. Yeah, cannons. 
Gross. Speaking of gross. Oh, man. Uh, so, so Netflix can put some weird shit on there sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so, both of us had watched this one, which I feel like everybody has watched now. Unfortunately, I watched And can't get out of your brain. No. Uh, abducted in plain sight. All I put down for notes on this was... Gross. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know what it is. Ugh. Um... Yeah, so this was like the OG of abductors. Like, this dude, I don't know. Maybe he found the perfect dumbass family. Like, yeah. This had to be the stupidest humans I've mm -hmm. ever seen. Like, how they have lasted this long on Earth breathing boggles my mind. So, basically, what was, what was, that? What was OG, uh, OG's name? What was the dude who actually was doing all the uh, abducting and sexing? Birth? Birthhold. Birthhold. Right? Yeah. So. This dude comes in, he's like the, you know, friendly with his family. Um, spoiler alert, in case you guys didn't watch it yet. Um, and, like, he was just kind of cool with them, but then he came, like, really cool with their daughter, who was, like, at that time, like, seven or some shit. It was young. Yeah, she was, like, nine or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it, yeah. it was extra young. Like, don't do that. Um, and so he was, like, he took the daughter on a crazy trip. They were going to go horseback riding. Yeah, for like And he gave her a pill. That wasn't for allergies. It sure wasn't. And she knocked it out, and then he just dipped off mm -hmm. for like right. weeks. Yeah, and they, they didn't want. First of all, as a parent, and I'm not a parent, but I kind of feel like this is common sense. If your daughter went horseback riding with a random ass man at the age of nine and doesn't come back, why are you waiting? Didn't they wait like three days to call yeah. anybody? Three days. Well, they didn't want to upset the community, and they didn't want to bother the police. Or the FBI. You're, and, you're yeah. not. It's not like you said, "Hey, I think someone threw something at my door last night." Right. Someone took your daughter for multiple days. Call the goddamn police. So these idiots take three days to call the police. First off. Mm -hmm. Um. Finally, they, he comes back after what five, six, seven, it was a couple. Yeah. Weeks. They. She. Well, he brings her back, and then like she's all in love with him, and. Well, he brain like the whole thing was he brainwashed her. Yeah, with saying the whole like there were aliens and like if you don't marry me, like they're gonna kill your family. Like, and, and or something. Yeah, the, yeah, complete this mission and, and like <sighs> it was just like the dude. So he had her pretty much brainwashed the thing, and like it said like if you break the mission, we kill your family kind mm -hmm. of thing. So she was trapped really, honestly. Like and at that young of an age, you're not thinking of a way out. You're just terrified and don't want your family to die. So I understand the daughter's, you know, view there. Nothing she could do. You brainwash a poor girl at such a young age. But the parents, zero excuse, zero. Um, you, 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 first of all, this guy stole your daughter for a week, comes back, starts hitting up the wife. Mm -hmm. um, the wife liked it yeah. way too much. So, and I love this woman explaining things because she's so innocent. Yeah, so, yeah. We were necking. <laughs> we, were, we were necking. We were hugging. Hugging. Hugging? Who, who just hugs? We were necking and hugging, and... He, he touched my breast. I touched my breast, and I really liked it. I couldn't stop the feeling. Couldn't stop the feeling! Um, and, and he said she couldn't stop thinking about it on a daily basis. And that's the same guy who's abducted your, your kid. Yeah. Okay? So now they're in an affair. Okay? Which is, you know, man and woman have an affair. That's things. That's things. But then comes the worst human being... Bro, when you first sent me that clip, I was like, what the hell are you watching? I'm like, why are you watching this? I'm like, what? And then, like, I, I started watching. I'm like, oh, it makes sense, but it's still disgusting. Made my mind. Blew my mind. Okay. Because I can't see any scenario where this goes down. Like, like who, man. like, what man, well, I don't want to say that, but, like, like how smooth was this dude to be like, hmm. Right, like, this, okay, so... It's going to get a little graphic, and we apologize, but that's the breaks. Um, that's that's the, the breaks. That's the breaks. So, so uh, Berthold and the husband taking a drive because he hates his wife. Berthold, right? Yeah. He's his wife, which, by the way, I never heard anything about his wife. Like, like, yeah, you never really... Sh yeah, I guess you want to... I guess you're embarrassed. You but, like, she was never a part of any of this, like, at all. Um, mm -hmm. Like, did she not know what was happening? So, this Berthold fellow, uh, him and the husband decide, take a ride. Taking a ride. <laughs> and they had the husband talking about it mm. and this, this dude he said I noticed that Berthold was physically aroused okay mm. so 
So first of all, the dad notices that, that that young man has boner for no reason. He just he's he's sporting wood on a drive with with <laughs> another fellow. Okay, mm. and this is back in like the seventies, so mm -hmm. like it's not as like common as now as far as like uh, being gay and accepted or anything like that. So this is like. You know, this at this time you would think it would be even more off-putting. It would be like off-putting for a straight man just to, like for this randomly to show up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my man has my man has an erection, and as you said, how smooth was he? Because he asked the husband to relieve him, right? Like, hey man, now I feel like anytime I get in a car, I never I never really plan on that, and, and I I feel like if I was asked, I'd be like, I can I would just like to politely decline. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I honor you ask, but I, I'm going to oh, politely decline man. your offer. Thank you. Um, this fella, who is literally the most pathetic human, says, And I was so dumb, I reached over and engaged in the act of masturbation. P.S. It's not masturbation if someone else's hand mm. is doing it. That's just... Being, that's just jerking off another guy. <laughs> so the, the husband is now jerking off oh. the abductor fella. So now this abductor guy has the daughter, the wife, and the husband all doing weird shit. Like he said, how smooth is he? You have to be extra smooth to get a straight man just to, just to you know, give you a J-O. You know? <laughs> so this dude does this. Okay, so now we have... A love triangle that nobody wants. A love rectangle. Yeah. That's... Um, he abducts the daughter again. A second time. And this time was for like a long time. Well, because what they did was he took her on another road trip and like he said, oh, that's my daughter, yada, yada. But he actually went to Utah after he got kind of caught and had, had like a theme park or something like that. Right. They let the daughter go to the theme park. To With, work there. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, that's ironic. Didn't that guy Let's move give there? our daughter back. Right. To the pedophile. Yeah, let's get him back to the abductor so that, that, you know, because that makes sense. And they were too embarrassed to call the FBI a second time because the first time mm -hmm. he got them to write, uh, to write an affidavit saying... They that, signed and saying, oh, we consent. Like, what? Because they were afraid of everybody knowing that he's giving out J.O.'s and she's giving out neckings. So, <laughs> they didn't want their reputation room within the community. So, better bet, let my daughter take the wrath and, and deal with all the aliens and whatever. So, then they do it again. Then they finally call the cops again. And, by the way, that dude was pissed. You've seen he was... Bringing up that case made that guy angry. The FBI yeah, guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, he was sitting there like, these god... You could see goddamn idiots was written on his face. Like, like how dare they do this to me multiple times after I did all this work for them. Um, it, I mean, eventually, finally, she did break away and everything after a long time. But, like, this was one of them shows you were actually agitated watching it. Like, it made you agitated as a person. Just like, how can you keep doing this stupid shit? Yeah. Like, I, I didn't understand how you could... Continuously be that dumb. It's like, dude, that's your that's your daughter. Like at, at the end of the day, that's your daughter. Why are you just letting this this creep bag do his thing? Cause she, and then the wife was messing around with him again. Mm -hmm. She wound up having an affair with the guy who's abducted your daughter twice. Yeah, cause they were going to divorce. Mm -hmm. And like they, like the dad took the kids to restaurants and like, hey, we're divorcing and then and like Brooke was like, yo, like you're gonna leave. Your husband. Right. Well, he told shit's going to happen. Yeah. And by the way, I'm still going to keep taking your daughter. Yeah. You know, what the... It was such a mind-blowing thing. Like, it doesn't seem real on how, like... Like, how can you let... I mean, I guess... I don't know, like... Brainwashing must be something that's... It must be crazy. ...above us. Right. And we're not, like, justifying, but it's, like, un unreal. Like, unreal story. Yeah. Like, the, the daughter, you kind of give her her own... You give her a benefit of the doubt because, like... I guess if you're young like that and all of a sudden someone telling you that there's aliens who are, you know, doing their whatever, you can believe that a little harder than, than the parents. The parents are just dummies, man. They should have had their kids taken away a long time ago. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. That's just crazy. Like, like I, when I first thought that the shoe was, like, going to die, like, when, you, uh, when I yeah. first read the title, like, but then they, she's in the thing. Like, right, she's right. like, oh, hey, I'm here. Normal looking. Her name is Jan. Yeah, Jan. And did she at all remind you of Jan from The Office? 
Michael's Michael's girlfriend Jan. Kind of yes. Because first I was like, she looks like that girl from she looks like Jan from the office. And then she said her name is Jan. I was like, oh, that's so weird. Yeah. I was waiting for Michael Scott to pop up. I was getting annoyed looking at her. I'm like, bro, like, what are you like, doing? Yeah, like I wouldn't be telling anybody this. I'm like, come on. Yeah. By the way, did you say the guy at the Sixers, the new Sixers, one of the new Sixers players' names, Mike Scott? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like they figured it out on on like the air the other day, and they're like, Michael Scott, like the paper company guy. Like there has to be a cool thing, like if he like dishes it, like oh, mm. it's a smooth rack of paper. Give him a dunder. Yeah, give him a, a dunder. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have a chance to watch, yeah, Abduction check Man, it out. It's on Netflix. It is very, like I said, very graphic. Well, not graphic, but very explicit. Yeah. Yeah, word wise, it's not like gross to look at. And do not watch with your family. Go no. That's or okay. your girlfriend, wife, fiance. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird sister. kind of. Watch just it just by yourself. Alone. Yeah. Yeah. Be be disgusting on your own. Don't be at the family party. But hey, guys, I'm gonna watch abducted in plain sight. And it's oh, like man. the, the two dads yeah. are in the car. It's gonna make every dad there weird. Right. Like, and, like, oh, you're never right. Like, are you gonna look at your dad and just be like, you didn't do this, did you? Did you ever do this for us? That's yeah, like it was the 70s. <laughs> son, I don't know, man. Son, it was after baseball practice. It was after you guys had a real bad night and I just needed some relief. Mm. Uh, I know. Uh uh-uh. uh. So yeah, please watch it. It's it's worth your time and worth breaking your mind. Um all of this has me draking. Excuse me? Has me draking, man. PK? Do you love me? Um hit lingo. Gen Z kids, man, they're pulling all that. When you feel emotional, you know, and you're sad, mm-hmm. it's called drinking. Like breaking in your car, like breaking. No, no, breaks. drinking with a D. You know, oh, the, 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 uh, remember the, like the, the, the cakes, the Drake cakes? Oh, your Drake cakes are delicious. But no, no, no. Like, no. like our favorite emotional Canadian, Drake, Drizzy. Oh. Yeah. You don't want to be drizzying. That, that sounds gross. That's the sound. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it's part of that. I'm not playing sight doctor. Um, so, yeah, kids today are using drinking as the same as feeling sad. What happened to normal words? Uh, put it this way. You know it's going to be a long day when you start drinking right when you wake up in the morning. That's, that's like, that just sounds really That's weird. a tweet from the kids, you know, like, drinking. They had some weird ones. We, there's some in the coming weeks that you're just going to be like, what? Why? But this is what kids do. They, they make up words that don't make any sense to any of us. Um, so in your daily things, you know, whenever you're sad, remember guys, don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Hey, you heard it.